the University Center Studio, downtown Pittsburgh, Point Park University. If you're not yet college educated, pointpark.edu to uh, discover it. All right, at Juicy Steve. <laughs> At Juicy Steen, at Justin LaVar. Continuing our TLC predictions, of course, WrestleRumble.com. Make sure you make your predictions. Each uh, prediction uh, on who's going to win, what's going to happen, is worth a certain amount of points. Those who acquire the most points win the prizes. First prize, $500 cash, as well as custom artwork uh, uh, from 2MeDrawings.com, uh, plus two lower-level tickets to NXT TakeOver in San Antonio. So that's a huge stack grand prize that's for this crazy. TLC prediction. NXT lower level tickets for TakeOver San Antonio, $500 cash, custom artwork, uh, second place $100, third place $100, uh, get on it, WrestleRumble.com, and they ask you how you found it, shout out your boy. All right, Lexa Bliss, Becky Lynch, tables, tables for the girls. They've had these before, and I don't, tables. I don't know if it's really worked out in the other match, didn't the one match have a table that didn't break? Uh, a couple well, years ago. Well, I was going to say Sasha and Charlotte just Well, recently. no, that one, of course, yes, but I, I, I lo the pink tables they had. They oh, pink tables. yeah. No, that, that's that, awful. That, we, we've we've the elevated. Dark, the dark days, the dark of, the days of the females. Yeah. I like this. Again, SmackDown has been so much better than Raw in every aspect. I think Charlotte and Sasha, though, have been pretty good, even though people are complaining about the title switches or whatever. But on uh, this side of things, Becky Lynch and Alexa Bliss, they've had a good feud going. I'm going to pick Alexa Bliss to take the title here in the tables match. I kind of agree with you. I, I kind of agree with you on Alexa Bliss. Um, if for nothing else, even if that's not even if that's not what I truly believe booking wise, that's kind of what I want to see happen. No disrespect to Becky Lynch, uh, but when I watched that opening segment between the two of them and the contract signing, which is one of the better opening segments and contract signings we've seen, and we don't often get it with the girls, so that kind of puts a stamp on the importance of this. Alexa Bliss just grabs my attention. She just grabs my attention. Everything from the look, the way she speaks. Not that Becky Lynch does any of those things bad. Not that she certainly doesn't look bad, and I don't think she speaks bad. But it's uh, Alexa Bliss just kind of grabs the attention. I just I, I'm I'm uh, I'm more invested in into her. So I would have no problem at all seeing her, especially since we just had a babyface win the women's title over Raw. I'd have no problem having a heel now take it. And do you think that's what's going to happen? Gonna, I'm gonna, if I'm doing Russell, if I'm doing Russell Rumble, I'm picking Alexa Bliss. You know, that's what I'm doing because I think a lot of people. I think I think. If you were to poll the Wrestle Rumble crowd, I think more than 50% are going to pick Becky Lynch. And quite frankly, to win these kind of things, you got to take a few long shots. What kind of move do you think it's going to be to put, him, uh, put her through the table then? That's a good question. I wonder if that's a Wrestle Rumble question. She got know. pushed through the table yeah. also this past week, but Becky has the, the her. Uh, the, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. That hopefully the the agents and producers that put that segment together, they're going to help put this match together. Hopefully they'll differ, differentiate it. Yes. Maybe they will have the table uh, set up in the corner, kind of, yep. and that because that's an easy. That almost always guarantees that table's going to break because of the angle of it. Yeah, you don't want to have something where it doesn't break. Right, and, really and neither awesome. those, and both those girls are, are small girls, oh, yeah, smaller, small. smaller girls. Just go so right through easy, yeah. that would be you could do a spe you could do you could do something to send somebody in. And I'd rather them not do what they just did, where they just push someone off the top. That's rope. what I mean. That's, that's kind of a, a since we just saw a standard table on four legs break. Yeah. This would be a way to uh, make the match different. Angle it in the corner. Do some kind of a power move. No matter who wins, either one I'm sure could find something in their arsenal. Uh, to make that match work. All right, Miz, Dolph Ziggler, ladder match, Intercontinental title. I mean, I, I don't know. Ziggler had the belt. We, we had this this talk a couple weeks ago, and it was like, is Ziggler going to be done forever? And now it's he's won the belt and lost the belt since then, and now it's a ladder match. I, I feel like the Miz is going to steal it here some way. It, should. it shouldn't he's, even be a steal. No, I'm saying like he won't win it. Like, sure. I'm sure, I'm sure Maurice will come out there yeah. and help. But uh, I don't know, I'm excited for it. Ladder match with Dolph Ziggler, you can't go wrong there. Right. Uh, It'll be fantastic. One of the best, uh, one of the best sell, sell men in the business. So, yeah, ladder match with, with these two, you know, they're very close out of the ring. So, you know, they're going to uh, come up with something good. They're going to leave it all out there. Yeah. Miz, there's no reason that this, I mean, I know we're seeing, again, foot flop titles with the women's title and Raw. There's no reason for, for Dolph Ziggler to walk out as champion. Again. again. Uh, if, if Dolph Ziggler, if Dolph Ziggler <laughs> wins the Intercontinental title at TLC, I will do my first Facebook Live video. I'll put it on Twitter. I'll do everything. I will bang my head against something against the hardest thing I can find within walking distance, and I will take myself doing it. <laughs> I and I will continue. And I will continue taking the drink that I'm drinking at that moment, and I will not even miss a sip. As long as it's not red Gatorade. No, it will not be red Gatorade. <laughs> It'll either be like Crown Apple. I'm getting into the Crown Apple oh, lately, or, or, or some Buffalo Trace bourbon, or some vodka Sprite, or so some beer. So you're taking the Miz. I'm taking the Miz. Okay. Cool. And if the Miz does not come through. <laughs> we'll go over it's that. It's headbanging time. Um, no mention of, of, of Thrasher and Mosh. 
Uh, Styles, Ambrose, TLC oh. match. This is it right here. Again, we just said that Miz and Ziggler were really excited for that, but like, it, you can't top it. And then it's AJ Styles and Dean Ambrose in a TLC match. You're gonna, you're so giddy. I know I'm you with so AJ Styles. I'm so excited. SmackDown's so good. They have so many good matches going on. And AJ Styles has been the face that runs the place legitimately. He's been just owning everything, and he's doing a side thing with James Ellsworth. He, if, I feel like he might somehow find his way in this match. So I think he has to. He'll right? have to. He'll, he'll, it'll be he, he'll be coming out of the hospital, out of the ambulance. He'll probably get. <laughs> probably get put through a table of some sort. And my favorite thing is he got signed to a full-time contract. First thing he does, he gets thrown off the stage of Survivor Series. And then he gets Styles clashed off stairs and almost dies. It's initiation. It's, inc it's incredible, and I, I love it. I wrote it on Upgroove.com. That was the bump of the week. Taking that Styles clash, elevated height coming off the steps, and obviously that's a move that, I mean, Ellsworth almost hurt himself weeks ago when he took it uh, from Styles. And when we got rookies coming to the NFL, they go, welcome to the NFL. It's like, welcome this to the WWE. This is initiation. This is what you get. Well, I mean, I'm sure he's loving it. He's getting the money for it. All right, there's no way Dean Ambrose wins this, no. right? No. AJ Styles takes this. Uh, I, I think it's going to be a hell of a match, though. It, now, I'm still waiting for James Ellsworth to turn heel, as I've been over this. I'm still <laughs> waiting for him to turn heel. This will be an, an interesting opportunity to do it to... to, to Calls Dean Ambrose, or because of the time frame between now and Rumble, and there's not because really you again you have that they have got to do some you have that distance. Yeah. He's been the perfect guy for that. They or but 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 Ellsworth still has a title match. That's true. That too. he's due to to AJ Styles. So maybe it's like a finger poke of doom where AJ Styles wins this Sunday, and then they make the match that on Tuesday SmackDown it's gonna be AJ Styles <laughs> versus James Ellsworth, and it's a simple finger, and and we will learn that James Ellsworth has been bought by AJ Styles. That would be incredible. You get you gotta be booking SmackDown now. My favorite well, is Ellsworth comes out and he goes, well, Dean, I'd love to face you for the title, but I'd have three and oh against AJ Styles. Wait, and that's your Ellsworth accent? No. Wait, do that again? I don't, I don't know. I was just talking. I don't, no, I don't. do it again. What? Just do it again. Say what? What does Ellsworth say? He goes, well, Dean, I'm, I'm a... <laughs> what? I don't know why you think it's so good. I don't, like, uh, maybe it's a chin hair. I, yeah, because you, right. <laughs> you have chin hair and he has no chin. He has no chin. He has so. no chin. I have to replay because I don't know what I sounded like. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. A uh, slight hick. All right, uh, let's finish Thanks the segment lot. off. Let's go down to NXT. He's from N your neck of the woods. NXT, he is from my neck of the woods. NXT and 90 with Josh Eisenberg. Enjoy TLC. Thank you, guys. Josh Eisenberg here, and now is time for NXT in 90. Asuka picked up a quick win under four minutes to kick off NXT and it just shows you, it just shows you the WWE and NXT specifically does not have a women's division to compete with the likes of Asuka. No more Mickey James, so who is next? Do they bring in a Trish Stratus? Do they bring in some sort of other woman to take helm at Asuka? Well, you know Ember Moon's not ready because she could be in that spot, but apparently WWE says, eh, pump the brakes on that. No competition for Asuka, she picks up a quick win. Eric Young, the member, the leader, the mastermind behind Sanity, picks up a win against No Way Jose in the second match of NXT. A really good match and No Way Jose, No Way. Jose doesn't need to win, doesn't need to lose, he dances, he's entertaining. And No Way Jose is one of those guys that everybody loves to see. And then the main event, the main event of the night was Samoa Joe versus my boy, the perfect 10. Ty Dillinger. Ty Dillinger battled hard, battled tough, but at the end of the day, it was Samoa Joe, the two-time NXT champion, picking up the win over Toronto's own Ty Dillinger. Could a gimmick change be in store for Dillinger? I sure hope not because I love his gimmick. It's fresh and people still want to see him succeed, but watch the video online on YouTube. It looks like Ty Dillinger is questioning if he really is the perfect 10. Stick around, do not go anywhere. I will be joined in studio live with Justin Labar, and we're gonna talk about Kevin Owens and Chris Jericho. So if you go anywhere, that just makes you a stupid idiot.